afternoon, Hopkinton Middle School. Yeah, that sounds weird with it not being good morning, but here we are. Welcome to your show, HMS Today. I'm your host, Alina Shake. Let's get everything kicked off with a brand new segment, Slang Weekly. Welcome to the first episode of a new segment, Slang, Slang Weekly. Weekly. With, with Milkshake and Lorelai. Our first word for you this week is low key. Suggested by Mr. Cardi. Our definition for you is something that's restrained or something you or someone else is doing that's under the radar. For example, low key. Did you hear about that new segment featuring Milkshake? Super cool. That's all we have for you this week. See ya. See y'all next time. That was fun to do. Thanks for doing it with me, Lorelai. Now I'll check in with Mr. Ocampo for a minute with the admin. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I have our guest speaker here with me, Mr. Grant Hightower, uh, who speaks to our, our, who did a presentation to our eighth graders uh, about some of the major issues going on in the world. So I wanted to ask him a few quick questions. Um, so Mr. Hightower, um, what do you th hope our students get from this presentation? Uh, ultimately, I'm just hoping that they get the understanding that they have a great deal of power in terms of uh, the information that they have, the information that they use to kind of build their sense of self and that um, the world will be in their hands very shortly. And if they get the understanding of who they are now and they kind of push back to the or they ask themselves, why do they believe the things that they believe um, and are constantly learning that they can have a, a, a huge say in, in where our country goes in the next, you know, six, seven years or, or a decade. That's awesome. Uh, another question I have is, um, what do you think our middle schoolers can do themselves to kind of better themselves for the future? Oh, you got to ask questions. You have to, well, you got to work on your courage. I think that um, once you realize that, like, everybody is in the same boat around um, not knowing what they don't know, that those of us who are more confident are just people who seek out information and kind of go through that period of like not knowing, but take it upon ourselves or themselves to do research. If they have those questions in their head and they don't feel like they have anybody to, to ask, to just go where they feel they can get good information and really challenge themselves, figure out what their core values are, what like kind of guides them and just do the research, make, make decisions for themselves on what the world is about and, and their place in it. I know you talked a little bit about what's going on in the world, but I want to know what you think the best world that we can strive for is. I think that uh, without being utopian, I guess, a world where, where folks have not only the ability to, to have their voices heard, but have the ability to collaborate with one another. I think that so much of what we're seeing now is a byproduct of fear, fear of disappointment, fear of being proven wrong, fear of not being accepted, mm -hmm. that we don't choose to engage. And when we choose not to engage, we enter these cycles of groupthink or like echo chambers where we only hear the same things over and over. And so we believe that that has to be true. Um, and I just would love to see a world where we, it's okay to challenge one another. It's okay to really try to find the common denominator, mm -hmm. the commonalities across the human difference to try to move everybody forward. I don't think that we were all here to just be separate forever. Um, there's got to be a higher purpose, right? Um, and so I would love to, to see a world where everybody has the ability to speak, the, the ability to be heard, but also mm -hmm. the ability to collaborate. Great. I love that message. Well, thank you so much for visiting Hopkinton Middle School. I know our students are grateful to have you. I'm grateful to have you. Um, we look forward to having you uh, come visit us in the future. Can't wait. And also, Hopkinton right now has the best names of, of any student so far. Love it. We appreciate your time, Mr. Ocampo. Our next segment is a club interview. Remember when we did those? Well, we still do. In today's segment, we are going to discuss a little bit about the debate club. When was the club started and when do you guys meet? So we are a relatively new club and we meet every Tuesdays, every Tuesday at 2.15. What's your mission? Our mission is to have students develop and enhance necessary research, communication, critical thinking, and argumentation skills. How many members do you have? Well, currently we have 26 members. In order to join the club, there is a, a Schoology access code and a, a Zoom 
contact Arian Shah in the seventh grade or myself for more information. Why should people join this club? Well, I would suggest that students in all grade levels join because they'll work on enhancing their research uh, skills. They'll learn to discuss and debate current topics and they'll build their confidence in pu with public speaking. What are some things that you do? So far, we've identified topics to discuss and debate, and we also share our ideas around other uh, topics that we may not necessarily debate, but we just uh, talk them through. What do you hope students gain from this club? An increased sense of self and their self-confidence will increase as well. And they'll enhance their public speaking and listening skills. Thank you, Mr. Alkwood. See you next time. All right. Well, thank you, Sahani, so much. Take care. Nice to see that. And good luck, Debate Club. Hey, if you're involved in a club, definitely let us know it and we'll interview you too. Okay. Did you say CAF TV time? I agree. We love making those. Okay, now it's time for the birthday scroll. Happy birthday! And that's all we have today. Hope you liked it. Do you have any cool, fun, or interesting photos from classes or activities or even just life in general? Send them along, we love to share. As a matter of fact, here's a picture drawn by HMS student Lila V. Very nice. And you can see more of Lila's work at our website. Okay, take care everyone. See y'all next time.